Beehive is a media design company. We do film titles, broadcast promotion, and experiential media events. We've never dealt with anything of this scale, either in terms of story or length, over two hours of original content. For us, that was really challenging and an amazing experience. We've been going in and out of scenes for <laughs> nine months now. One of the exciting things about the opera is how Michael Counts is really going in and out of abstraction. He thinks very filmically, as in like a movie director would sometimes with camera moves, and other times he thinks very much like a painter. Really the crux of the creative started with my first meeting with Michael. He started talking about not approaching it with a conventional sense of reality or religiosity, but spirituality. And that led me to thinking about light. You know, light is the essence of the spirit. These are some of the original images that I pulled, photographs of water and the sea, and also images of skies. And we look to these not just for the structure and the light, but also for mood and color. These are images from the Hubble telescope paintings of Turner and Susetta. The video propels the story, setting the narrative in a place, but then the abstractions take us to that other world, the dichotomy going on in the story of dealing with the spirit and the essence of being. It is about Moses and the Pharaoh, and Pharaoh not really believing in Moses' God and Moses' power, and the Egyptians being left you know, in the dark, really. And what Rossini did was he built into that story a backstory about the love between two young people, one who's an Egyptian and one who's an Israelite, torn apart because of their allegiances to their families that are basically at war with each other. It's a really classic love story. And they walk across the desert and they enter this cave. We really try to place the actors in the scene and then we try to move the camera around the actors and show the scene around them as they're walking, as they're moving through stage. The landscapes have a bit of a painterly quality to them. And this was really important because the story itself is so poetic on a certain level that we felt that the landscape shouldn't feel photoreal. And, you know, Michael really wanted to create the illusion that these landscapes were an extension of what was happening on the stage. We actually shot in some of our own people here at Beehive so that we could populate in the landscapes. So when people pray, then the people in the background kind of like pray too and they get down on their knees. It breaks that line again of illusion. Is this real? Is it not real? Or, you know, where does the staging start and where does the video begin? Rather than representing the uh, firestorm as fire dropping from the sky, you know, he really thinks graphically and let's see how it might look in a pillar of fire. You're just weaving in and out of the abstract with the landscape throughout the opera. The Amatea scene. This is where we shot a lot of fluids, inks under the camera and layered them in the computer to create these beautiful abstract circular dreamy energy fields to show the inner spirit and power of Amatea. She comes onto stage and it's almost as if her arm is painting the world around you. This vision of beauty and light, which represents her connection with God, and Michael really wanted to approach that in a very abstract way. It's a way of connecting to the audience in a primal level, not a narrative level. It's such a great juxtaposition of taking this ancient story using video through LED, something you see in Times Square to tell the story. It's like really brings it into our contemporary life. Oh,